This video is a continuation of earlier video in which we had created the rules. And now in this video, we are interested in specifying how to set up the rules to the rules. So now three rules are created as per the last video. One is the administrator rule, uh, role, second is the student role and one more is what a staff rule. So I need to specify the access rules for the rules. How to set up the access rule for the rules? It's quite easy. You can give a click on create access rules. So now I'd come across towards creating the access rule. And you can see very well, you need to create a new access rule. And three roles are being shown over here as staff and student. And permission is being shown by you. Allow or deny. Right? Now, here it comes. I'm going to the website too. Now, I want that administrator, all pages which are coming under the administrator folder, all pages coming under the administrator folder must be accessed only and only by the administrator group member or administrator role users, not by any other user. So, first access rule, I am trying to specify anonymous user. So, admin folder, if an anonymous user is interested in accessing, should it be allowed or denied? What do you mean by anonymous? It means the user is not been authenticated. So, I just say if it is anonymous user, then I am not interested in allowing him. So, I had selected here deny. The next rule I need to create. So again, I just say create access rule. So administrator folder, the role for administrator is what being allowed. And again, I'm creating a new access rule where I'm saying administrator folder for all user, it is denied. This is something like a if else if condition, right? So if it is an anonymous user, so it is denied. If it is an administrator role user, it has been allowed. Else if any other user denied. So it is just like a if else if ladder. If any of so the structure has to be created as per if else if ladder. So what is the structure created by you? You would like to see it again. You can just manage the access rules. So when you select the manage access rule, you can understand administrator folder, anonymous user is denied, administrator is being allowed, all are being denied, all are being allowed. But it's not matlab hi nahi. Because if you are anonymous, you are denied. Nothing else will be checked. If you are not anonymous, but you are administrator, it is been allowed. You are not anonymous and your administrator is being allowed. If you are not anonymous, but you are not administrator, denied. So last option is not being checked at all. But for all others, like a staff, you can see everybody is allowed. You can see student, everybody is allowed. Right. But now for a staff member, what I'm interested, I'm interested in specifying a staff member, only the Authenticated user should be allowed. As well as administrator and staff, both users need to be allowed. So if any user, he may be administrator, he may be a staff, then he's allowed to go for accessing the staff details. So I'm just creating a new access rule. First I say, anonymous user is what being denied for a staff. Then again, I'm creating the new access rule. Here I'm saying for role administrator is being allowed. Again, I'm saying for the role that is termed as staff, it is being allowed. Again, I'm trying to specify for all others. It is denied. So how it works? If you are anonymous, it is denied. 
if you are not anonymous and you are under the administrator group it is allowed if you are not under administrator group but you are under the staff role or a staff group it is allowed for all other user it is what been denied this will never be checked only this is never been checked only and even if you are not allowed to delete also any permission you have to shift up and down you are allowed to go for a shift up and down also now i go to the student folder and student i want everybody is allowed anonymous is not allowed everybody else is allowed anonymous is not allowed so what i am doing anonymous user is being denied right and i am here specifying adding the new access rule and here i say all user is what been allowed so he may be from administrator he may be from a staff he may be from a student he is not anonymous it means he is allowed to access the resource so this way i am creating the structure of the rules also termed as privileges also termed as rights so this task is what been completed by me so what administrator can do what the staff can do what the student role can do once all these rules have been mentioned once all these access rules are been done now i need to create a user now i need to create the user under the role now i need to create a user under the role so here i am specifying create user so now i required to complete the creation of user so i am creating the user i am providing the username over here as the by the password had entered as a b c d a capital mein dal deta hu a b c d at the rate 1 2 3 4 confirm password a b c d at the rate 1 2 3 4 email address i had just mentioned as abhay at the rate gmail dot com then security question i just say how are you i just say security answer is fine and i am under the group called administrator fine i can be a member of multiple groups also i can be a member of multiple groups also and then i had given a click on create user So we'll find a new user is being created. I would like to create three user. One is administrator, one is a staff, and one is a student. So I just say a by staff password again. I'm giving the same A B C D one two three four A capital letter of because security policy a password ka eight character chahiye, ek special symbol chahiye, koi to alphabet capitalized chahiye. So I'm following the same thing. A B C D at the rate one two three four. Email address I had just mentioned about staff at rate gmail dot com. These kind of email addresses are not available. This is just a dummy email address I am providing, but I am just completing my validation task. Security question I just provide maybe favorite color. Mention the favorite color of my kit as red, and this is undercoming the staff role. So new role has been created as Abhay. One is Abhay, one is Abhay staff, and again I am creating one more user as Abhay student. Password I am just keeping the same, so I should not find it tough to recollect it. This is just for the sake of testing. Abhay student at the rate gmail dot com. Security question favorite. What I should ask? Okay, our favorite food. Okay, fine. Favorite food. What is the favorite food of mine? Um, bakri. Okay, I I always love and I am continuously vegetarian, so I just provide veg. Okay, and this is student. Then I'd given a click on create user. So you'll find three users have been created. I'd clicked on the back over here. So you will get the entire structure. There are existing user three. There are rules three and access rules. We had seen how to specify. If you are confused, then again go back and learn this particular video once again to understand the access rules. So authentication type is now from the internet. That is forms authentication. Windows based authentication is nothing but operating system user IDs and password will get the rights. 
form from the internet means forms authentication is there. Now this task has been completed by us. Once this task has been completed, you just close the browser. There is no option over here to save etc. Everything is absolutely correct. Just close your browser. So you are ready to work with the forms authentication now for your web application, for your website developed by you. Now how to utilize those things, we will see in our next video.